another resort my name is amit and today we are going to see login with google basically in this session we are going to see how to secure our apis with spring security and google oauth 2 so let's start without wasting the time now let's see how to integrate with google for that login as a google functionality so for this we have to search here google console uh, after this you will see such kind of options so click on google cloud console now you will see that api and services option so click here after this you will see credential option so click here after this click on the create credentials and you will see oauth client id so click here now you have to provide here application type so we are creating the web application so click here and you can provide any name of application let's say demo 3 okay and here you have to provide your uh, uh, application url so we have deployed our application on 8080 okay now the next thing is here you need to uh, put that redirect url which is responsible for to connect with google server so i already copied this url let me show you okay this is the url okay uh, now come to the point again and paste here okay that's it now we have done with our configuration so click on create after this you will see such kind of uh, interface here you will see client id and client secrets so these two things are needed to connect with that server google auth server okay so copy this client id and uh, then paste here this is the client id and then client secret so paste here that's it okay now the next thing is uh, we have to create our spring boot application so let's create a spring boot application let me close my existing applications okay right click new spring starter project uh, give any name our spring boot application let's say um, okay login with google demo click on next and here you have to select oauth client 2 then uh, spring security and spring wake that's it then click on next and finish our application is ready so click here click here create a new package for controller so package and then dot controller create one api okay first create one con controller class uh, let's say test controller test controller okay that's it now provide here annotation at the rate rest controller and then create one api so let's say api is a public uh, string let's say hello and then spelling mistake okay then here provide the url at the rate get mapping here hello okay url also hello now control shift f and here return okay return something hello okay or welcome that's it now what next okay so we have to uh, use that client credentials and client id so for this open application dot property and here we have to paste that client uh, id and client credentials so for this uh, i have properties which i copied okay so these are the properties that we needed inside that application dot property so the property is called spring security over to client registration google dot client id okay similarly spring security over to client registration google and client secrets let's copy this stuff here paste here okay and provide the values so we have already copied the values for these things okay so this is the client id copy this and then uh, paste here okay paste here that's it now let's copy the credentials sorry client secrets okay client secret copy this come to the here and again paste here that's it now our application is ready to to access the api with login with google okay so let's start the application
okay hello so api is hello so let's hit that api using browser uh, localhost 8080 hello enter now we'll see uh, the google login screen so it will re redirect to that particular screen now click here go auth oh, sorry uh, click on email or login with the email now you can uh, or it will ask you such kind of things so click on continue and now you can see we can able to access that hello api or well okay and it is giving the result called as a welcome that's it now my requirement is uh, i wanted to track uh, that who's accessing my apis okay who's accessing my api so i want to know about their email or their uh, first name last name or their name okay so for that what to do so let me show you what we can do for that now to track uh, what is the username of user who is accessing our api so for this we can use an object called as authentication so for this type here authentication authentication so uh, it should be from core.core.springframework.securitycore okay so keep this thing in mind because there are multiple authentication objects so it should be from this package okay now auth authentication is equal to security context holder okay so type here security context holder dot get context and then get authentication object so basically it is returning the authentication object and that authentication object hold all the user information who is logged in now after this we need to uh, get the principal object from that authentication which will help us to get user information so how to do that it's very simple authentication dot get principles okay dot get principal so where it is principal that's it now catch that object in what to server because this user type is what to what to what to user sorry what to user that's it now we need to remove this who equals and here typecast okay typecast now the next thing is let's fetch the username string or email we can fetch anything okay so let me here uh, fetch the email id string email is equal to or to user dot get attribute okay and here pass that email okay email string that's it now we will have email okay so welcome user and here written let's say plus email that's it now it will return us that email id okay those who logged in that application and those who are trying to access this api now let's see will it work or not first restart the application now refresh and log in with email continue now you can see a result here welcome user and that email id is av 24 soft at the red gmail.com so in that way uh, we can log in with the google our spring boot application and second thing is uh, we can track that which user has logged in our spring boot application and he is trying to access the api okay so let's revise once again that code what we have done in that application so basically we have added only two properties called as a client id and client secrets with application dot property and in test controller we have written one api called as a hello inside that api we are to track that uh, user email id we have written this code so basically we are getting the authentication object and uh, authentication object is something who holds all the user information or user object so and which present inside this security context holder so we are getting that context and from that context we are getting that authentication object now uh, from from that authentication object which hold user object and this user is a type of oauth or auth to user okay so for this we are catching this oauth uh, user in oauth to user object 
uh, from the authentication object. So we are authentication dot get principle, and then we are getting that over to user. And from that over to user, we can get any informations like name, email. Okay. So that's all about today's session. In next session, we will see more about OAuth two server, Spring Security, and Spring Boot application, and in which we are going to create a role based login functionality. So if you like, please share and subscribe. Thank you.